YouTube, it's your boy Q2Weezy here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video. And today, y'all, I'm about to go over season three update patch notes. And bro, I honestly have a lot, a lot just to say about this season, bro. And honestly, I'm, I'm gonna just, just say how I feel about it, like before I get into like the patch notes. <laughs> honestly, this this season should be a little bit better than season two with the new players and all that stuff though so there's going to be a lot of a new type of gameplay and a lots of new types of everything right about now and hopefully everything goes projectedly go, uh right just 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 before season four hits and hopefully before season four hits we should have some more players like later on because this season honestly is 60 days bruh like like come on bro like that's that's a long time we got all the way into august bro just to just to grind all the way up to hall of fame we could at least have this at least like 45 days bro like 60 days is kind of wicked bro but it is what it is bro but let's get into these patch notes bro so first things first though we got a new feature we got lucky chest though so it's a thing that that, that players unlock at level 10 you can unlock and get new lucky chests and stuff like that though you can attain by just getting through just playing the game and the thing that i honestly do not like about <laughs> about the lucky chest it, it, it takes at least like six hours bro just to just to unlock and or, or it takes like a whole 24 day uh, 24 i said 24 days 24 hours in a day bro bro it's I don't know, man. Y'all could at least have the cooldown system a little bit, like less than that. Y'all could have made the the legendary at least max at like six six hours. Put the smaller ones to like maybe like maybe ten minutes. Like ten minutes would be cool. You feel me? Just for like just like a small little pack, bro. Six hours just for just for one thousand five hundred gold. Like, are you serious, bro? That, that's that's kind of robbery right there. Don't y'all think? Bro, it, like y'all gotta cool down on, on, on that like eventually. Like the lucky chest, yeah, that 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 needs to be a little bit adjusted with 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 the hours because that's that's kind of wicked. Six, twelve, and twenty four, bro. So with a rare, you are going to get six hours just to. It takes you six hours just to unlock a rare chest. That's crazy. And then uh, epic, twelve hours. Legendary, twenty four hours. Come on, man. <clears throat> and then when you un unlock these chests, you're going to get gold, diamonds, uh, skill manuals, who draft tickets. Like I said, it will be a lot useful, in my opinion, just to, like like I said, have the cooldown system early, like, 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 10 minutes for a rare, bro. Put, put like, a, like, a, like, like, 30 minutes for, for, a, for an epic, maybe an hour, maybe an hour. I give it that though. Give it an hour. Give us unlimited boxes and all that stuff like that, bruh. And 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 this is a deal, bro. And and just give us like six hours on on the uh on a legendary crate, bruh. Come on, bro. And as you can see right here, this is the drop rate. You win three games, and this is the odds. And as you can see right here on the screen, this is a lot that we're gonna have to talk about though. So I'ma just you just gonna have to just we skim it through all this stuff, bro. Cause like this, this, like the chess, the chess stuff is just so crazy, bro. Cause like I said, you're going to get at least like ten diamonds, fifteen diamonds, or like I said, one thousand five hundred gold. That that's mostly what you're going to get majority of the time, bro. In a rare chest, and like I said, waiting six hours just for for all of this is is kind of wicked. And then you're looking at the epics uh, chest right here. You give you like 20% odds on 50 diamonds, uh, 10,000 gold, 80 diamonds, 10%. You feel me? It's it's, it's, it's a little bit of upgrade, but though, but you get one team infinite ticket, one star studded ticket, 50,000 gold though for the 1%. Ah, 
bro. The timing, bro. Just the timing, just to get all this stuff, bro. It's crazy, bro. That's 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 what's killing me right now. Um, legendary. So you got thirty thousand, uh, bro. You, you so you're gonna get thirty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand gold, just just off rip. Maybe fifty diamonds, maybe a hundred diamonds. Maybe get a team infinite ticket. Uh, then it just it just keeps getting lower. It gets going. It's keep getting lower. And honestly, I do not believe you're going to get this one percent, bro. This is less than one percent chance of you getting uh, a thousand, a hundred thousand gold, bro. A hundred k, bro. Uh, and it takes you twenty four hours just to get at least thirty k gold. A whole day just to get thirty k, forty k, fifty k, fifty diamonds, a hundred diamonds. Maybe one team infinite ticket. Can I at least get five? Can I please get? Can I please get five, bro? I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm not trying to be reactive, but it's just I'm I'm just saying, bro. 24 hours is crazy. It's just crazy, chat. I, I I'm just I'm just being me right now, cause like it's just it's crazy. 24 hours is just crazy to me, man. And then we see the uh, new MVP pass. I do think it's a big W. We do got some new tickets, though, so people can attain the new tickets. Because the only way how you can get the new tickets if you redeem the old tickets into the new tickets from the redeem section inside the store. So, Lil, do you know, that's one way how you can get these other tickets. And that's one thing that I told y'all just to do. Go check out the store after the update. That's what I always do. That's the first thing I will always do, though. Every time the game updates, I always look at the store. I look at the, the market, all that type of stuff, bro. You got to be paying you you gotta pay be paying attention to the market bro but <clears throat> not too much has changed with the mvp pass i should know it, it's it's pretty much standard at this point though i'm pretty sure about all the rewards but we do got a new mascot we do got some new clothes the new shoes actually matches with the season one clothes honestly like go go check it out bro because i got my clothes like that bro season one clothes matches season three shoes bro that that's that's the drip bro that's that's the drip that i'm running with this whole entire season bro but you do have boomer as a mascot which i really love i'm 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 using boomer for the rest of this 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 game bro i, I there's no other mascot that I, I would want just to use besides my home my home squad uh mascot than than boomer bro which i really love right there that's a big w um I'm not too sure. I I, I want to start comparing like the old battle passes and stuff like that. See if we got some upgrades or something like that though. I'm I'm gonna try to check that out and I'm gonna post about it though inside my community tab though. So, but like I said though, the, this is like pretty much standard with the with the battle pass and this this season reset right here though. Everybody's roles had had like pretty much dropped to like half of what you done gotten. So anybody that got Hall of Fame back to the all-star five and all that stuff though so that that's pretty much standard right there and you got new daily logins and stuff like that they're going to be changing that and there's going to be new returning players new optimization for the system and stuff like that though as y'all can see right here there's going to be new missions though they said they're going to be resetting all the missions i think though for the team infinite missions and stuff like that it's going to be cutting that down from uh um five missions instead of six so that's kind of crazy right there so we got who drafted um tickets like i said though that was like a whole adjustment and stuff like that I was going to give y'all a rundown and these new drops you are able just to get uh gold and all that stuff like that inside these packs which is actually kind of cool but you won't be able just to use the season two tickets no more after june 26 so use all this the season two tickets as you possibly can this is, is this is last run with the season two tickets though because they're going to be transitioning over to the season two season three tickets so this is going to be kind of hard just to be getting players now though if we want to get gold i will be kind of mad though in, in some of these packs though because like every 15 draws you will get like a gamble between like a uh, a legendary and a, uh uh what is it epic yes yeah, epic so that that's that that's kind of a that's, that's kind of scary right there though with, with the with the with the tickets though it might be a big w because we needed a change and we needed another way just to get coins so 
I don't know. I'm going to be 50-50 about it, though. I'm going to be 50-50 because I, the odds on getting coins on there is scary, bro. It's scary, too, bro. So they need to buff the odds, though, if we're going to be actually you will really be good. But, but we, we, we'll be straight, though, I think, bro. So we got the limited uh, time ticket pulls, though, and it's now guaranteed 60 draws, and you'll get a guaranteed epic now. This is on a limited epic uh, card pool now. And we got card rotation schedule. So the card pool rotation frequency decreased from twice a week to now once a week, alternating between epic players and game changer, which is pretty good. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. I like that. I like that. Star studded adjustments. After the update, the guaranteed draw for rule for star studded pool would change from one guaranteed random legendary every 30 draws to one guaranteed epic or legendary like i said this is what i said it's a 50 50 uh it's a 50 percent chance just to get a, a, a epic or a legendary card bro so this is a new mechanism that they pretty much got up in this game bro and a new mechanism that guarantees an fa card every 20 draws has now been removed and oh that's that's gonna be that's tough that's tough and starting season three the price of star studded tickets will now be reduced from 200 diamonds to 180 diamonds that's that's only like a it's a small little decrease i mean hey i'm all for the decrease bro like let, let's 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 reduce this stuff bro if 150 if we bro can we get it to at least 150 can we get 150 <laughs> maybe I, I, i'm just saying bro like i'm just saying man like and then, then we got the game changer pool adjustments the mechanism that guarantees uh, epic every 10 draws has been removed and now if a limited time legendary card does not drop after 90 draws it would be guaranteed okay so game changers is is literally all types of different now though so holy bro I, I, don't, I don't know how these how these uh pack draws is going to work bro because i want to start doing pack openings and stuff like this and i want to test it out though I'm, I'm gonna try to get as many new tickets as i possibly can and save them up and i'm gonna just do like a like a, a whole tire pool or, or like a little little thing i did though in that one video <laughs> I was pulling all these cards and stuff though from the game changers and star study pools and stuff like that though and then you see the balance adjustment stuff right about here this is all the adjustments I'm not about to go over all the all the badges and stuff like that y'all can go for yourselves and look that up but one person with these player adjustments Jason Tatum this boy got three nerfs and three increases this boy didn't really didn't get no type of nerf at all bro so he's still very dominant no matter what bro they, they they're talking about we observed that tatum is was too dominant then matched up against guards and less powerful small fours due to his um exclusive effect triggered his uh by his uh differences in player strengths attributes additionally his three-point performance in the Eastern Conference Finals was, was lower than during the... Bro, come on, man. At this point, y'all just saying that, that that he was just playing poor, bro. He was just playing poor. Everybody know he's playing poor. Just, just say that. He's just playing trash. I'm not about to read all that. <laughs> so, basically, Tatum really did get a nerf. He really got a... He really got a, a buff and a slight decrease. He really got buffed. Like Tatum literally got buff chat. Like this, this doesn't make sense, bro. His mid range got to increase. His strength got to uh, increase on his exclusive effect, and his um, his shock resistant increased it too. Right, and his exclusive effect as well. So, I mean, all they did was just drop his strength down from six fifty four to to six thirty. That's not a big difference. As that honestly, that's not a big difference. It's not a huge difference. And then reduced his initial three-point attribute from 734 to 710. Okay, so that's not a big difference either. 
So he's still a pretty good shooter. He's still a very good shooter. No matter what, do not sell Tatum. If you got Tatum, just keep Tatum. Just keep your Tatum. Paul George, nerf to the ground, bro. Everything got reduced on this boy, bro. Look at this, man. Look at this, man. There's nothing, Paul. Bro, if you got Paul, Paul George is not worth it no more, bro. That's all I gotta say. Anthony Davis, not worth it anymore. He actually got his actual nerf and stuff like that. Everybody sell him. I sold him finally too, though, off my team. Uh, Kyrie got a got a buff. Cat got a um, he got a nerf. Luca got a huge uh, buff, which is good. Jokic got a buff. Jalen Brown got a buff. Drew Holiday got a buff. And then we got some various bug fixes. So that's going to do it for this video, y'all. I know this video is pretty long, but hey, man, we have to we have to talk about season three of Dave and the patch notes and stuff like that, though. So hit this video with a like. Let me know how y'all feel about the, the season three patch note update and how y'all feel about the new players that's coming in and all that stuff, though. Just let me know all your thoughts, all your feelings down in the comment section down below. I will be coming out with a live stream here tomorrow and we're we're back on the, uh, the rank grind bro at this point man and see you guys in the next video peace and I'm out y'all